So, how much do you have left? Thank God, me too. Just a few more pages. We're almost finished with this. And done. What about on your end? Perfect. Send me the files and I can upload them together. Jesus Christ, I can't believe they had to drop this project on us on Christmas Eve. What do they think we are? Yeah, you're right. The higher-ups don't do that much thinking. Otherwise, they wouldn't have let this plan almost slip through the cracks. You can be damn sure they'll blame us for it being sent late. Well, they'll blame me because I'm technically the supervisor on this section, but... I'll gladly place as much blame as I can on you. <laughs> okay, got the file. Ah, uh, it's no good. The closer I get to being finished for the day, the more pissed off I get. God, I need a drink. Why, what about you? Well, I know you didn't exactly volunteer for this overtime, but... Did you have any other plans after this? Mmm, buying a cake, huh? Did your girlfriend ask for one? Or is it a surprise? What? <laughs> it's for yourself? Are you sure that's a good idea? No, no, no. I'm not making fun of you. <laughs> it's, I swear, that's not it. It's just I... <laughs> I was actually going to do the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Really? I mean, when you're a single, senior citizen like myself, it's only natural to eat your worries away. So I was just worried if you were okay with having the same idea as me. Well, I'm glad you don't mind, but you didn't deny me being a senior citizen, so uh, I'm not gonna let that go. <laughs> Nope, but an apology won't be enough. Hmm. Okay, I got it. Chains of plans. No lonely cake for either of us. Now that all the files are uploaded, we can enjoy what's left of the holiday. And if we're gonna be sad, then we're gonna be sad like normal adults. Get your jacket on and follow me. What are you, from HR or something? I'm not ordering you around. For the record, I take power harassment very seriously. Now come with me. Here we are. Cheapest bar in the city. Home sweet home. Honestly, I hardly ever hang out here, but I'm always welcome. Isn't that right, Sarah? <laughs> the middle finger means she's happy to see us. Come on, let's sit over here. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought we already established that you didn't have anything better to do. Was I mistaken? Exactly. So sit down with me. Don't worry, it's my treat. You really stepped up with that assignment. This is about all I'm allowed to do to thank you, so just let me. Took you long enough, Sarah. I'll have my usual. What about you? Mmm, you're a lot bolder than you look. Sarah, you heard the man. Let's get this holiday started. Mm, 
Okay. I didn't see this coming. I thought you were gonna be some lightweight. But you just keep throwing them back. Is this what free alcohol does to people? Hmm? Your black hole liver is gonna swallow my wallet soon enough. But that's what my town is for. Another round, Sarah? Oh, sorry. I'll, I'll use my inside voice. <laughs> Another round, Sarah. Uh, how did you get here so fast? Is it your day job being a ninja? Wait, where, where are our drinks? Where do they go? Cutting us off, but we, we're just getting started. Isn't that right? Oh, fine. Neither of you are any fun. I'm just gonna go find another place to drink. You're coming with me. <laughs> I knew you weren't finished either. Let's go. Okay, so where are we at next? Oh, you just keep getting bolder and bolder. Are you sure that's a good idea? Telling your supervisor that you want to take him home? It's probably way worse than anything I said tonight. Actually, don't hold me to that. I probably blacked out for a bit, but that's not important. Which part am I misunderstanding? Oh, I see. You really just want to walk me home. Do I really look that bad? You could stop. I appreciate you trying, but you were never a good liar. It's one of the things I love about you. Okay, I get it. If I'm being honest... I feel like I could throw up and pass out any moment. Not necessarily in that order, so I'll uh, take you up on your offer to walk you home. Walk you home? Walk me home. Not many guys at the office would even consider being polite to me, so I, I shouldn't reject your kindness. Who knows when I'll get to feel this good again. Hey, why are you looking at me like that? Oh no, did I say something weird again? Oh man, how did I let you convince me to go drinking with you? What? I invited you? No, no way, no. That can't be right. I couldn't have invited my crush out for drinks. He would have thought it was, like, really gross for a woman like me to ask you out. I need to be, like, drunk before I could consider doing something so embarrassing, but nice try. <laughs> yeah, you have that dumb smirk on your face again. Really? What is wrong with you? You're having fun teasing me like this. I... Wait, wait a sec. Did I, did I say something really bad? Oh. I didn't? You, you sure? Okay. Thank God. Well, here we are. My actual home sweet home. So, uh, thanks for walking me here. It won't be a straight line, but I can manage to get through the doorway on my own. 
Do you want me to call you a taxi or something? Why don't you want that? Do you actually live close enough to walk? That would be quite a coincidence. Well, if you're not gonna walk and don't want a cab, how are you getting... She just really kissed me. <laughs> and now you look so disappointed. Was it that bad? Oh, well, that's a relief. Even if you're drunk, you could still see that you made a mistake on our first date. I think that's a good trait. I'll give you an 8.5 out of 10. Congratulations. Yeah, you earned a very good score. You should feel proud of yourself. Uh, this wasn't a date. The two adults who like each other out on the town all night, and you wouldn't call that a date? What, did you go deaf when you got drunk? I said... Well, if you heard me the first time, don't make me repeat myself. I like you. I have for a while now. You're not like the other guys at work. You really, you listen to people. Not just me. You pay attention to everyone at the office and you try to help in your own way. I've always found you so interesting. On the other hand, I couldn't help but notice my usually reliable co-worker was suddenly unable to look me in the eyes. You got more distant with me and only me around the office. But you were also the first to offer your help when I had some kind of problem. Maybe you don't think that's enough proof, but trust me. It was obvious how you felt about me. <laughs> Watching you squirm became a part of my daily routine. Yeah, I know it sounds creepy, but you know how our job is. We have to take our entertainment where we can get it. And your entertainment got me through a lot. Especially with all that extra overtime. So I figured it was about time we take a chance and go out. You know? Test the water is a bit. That's not so bad, is it? I could tell you were having a great time. <laughs> no, I wasn't pretending to be drunk. I was pretending to be absolutely wasted. Despite that, you only gave me one kiss. And only after I sent you some pretty obvious signals, so you pass. Some other guys would have taken advantage of someone in my state. Or they would just have turned down my invitation from the start. But not you. And I respect that. I think I found a real winner this time. So I'll give you another shot. But this time, you'll know what you're in for. So you can prepare yourself. New Year's Eve works for me. How about you? <laughs> That's true. Can be a little bossy. <laughs> I guess it's part of the job. Besides, you don't really mind, do you? I'll just take your adorable blushing as a yes, ma'am. So it's settled. New Year's Eve, we'll go on a real date. And don't worry, it won't involve drinking. Not at first, anyway. <laughs> I really hope you're not the type to forget everything when they get drunk. It would be a shame to lose all the progress we just made. Well, maybe redoing it could be fun in its own way. <laughs> 
Oh, it's getting late. Or early. So, I'll call that taxi for you. Of course, I was serious about that part. I need to make sure you get home safe. But, in the meantime, do you want to wait inside? I would like to shout out my Patreon supporters. A very special thanks to Twisted Haunt, Six, Slayer N11, Hot Wheels, Rico, Tyco 4, Imp, Thydrate, Dars, Turfy, Ruffle Valiant, and Marcus. You are incredible and amazing, and I cannot thank you enough. And thank you, Andres, FYZXN, Lynch47, Kavik, John, Tear, Seb, Kazo Blades, Phoenix Blue, Anzu Wiley, Shark, Valis Gaming, Thick Skull, Pablo Mayorga, James McGinnis, Saigeth, The Zuck, Turst1996, SQ11 Watson, A2B2 Lax, Tony, By My Ads, Ayami, Novi Klopets, Ruai Tawi, Ismail, and Harmony.